they will eventually judge some of them quite harshly. Um, he's one of those institutions slightly differently for different reasons. Um, it's been pretty well known that the International Monetary Fund enforced loans against small countries in a way which are were quite disastrous uh, because things outside of the small countries they had no control over, namely interest rates went up and they found themselves with large amounts of debt and then rather than forgiving the debt they enforced the debt payments which created great poverty. So all of those institutions um, need to be reformed, I think. I think that um, there is a role for those institutions in a just a global economic order. Not everything the World Bank has done is bad. They've actually done some some good things. They've funded some uh, some really good projects which help poor people around the world. So it, it's a mistake to paint them all with a completely black black brush. There are some good people trying to do good things, but they've all also done things which are um, you know wind up supporting a just an unjust economic order. They've all done that. Okay. So uh, so we. The question that people your age should be asking is what reforms do we need? How do we make them happen? Um, and I think positive change will more likely come step by step rather than all at once. Okay. Okay. And so it's people your age should be thinking about what reforms do we need in these institutions? How do we? Uh, how do we? The biggest question is how do you have a just economic? order in a globalized economic system, okay? Uh, and I don't know all the answers to those questions. They're really challenging. I know, I know some injustices that I see. I know some things which are wrong. But getting to where we want to go to is, st I'm still working on even the questions in my head. It's really complicated.